everything must change nothing stays the same no no everyone will change no one stays the same the young become the old and mysteries do Cause that's the way of time Nothing and no one goes a There are not many things in life you sure of accepts that rain comes from the cloud the sun lights up the sky and hummingbirds do fly winter turn well y'all know the rest of it <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. Okay, okay. I remember my mama used to always tell me, you know, no lie can live forever. Because, you know, I used to just love to lie, you know. And as a kid, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. She said, okay. Be sure your sins will find you out. Okay? Um. Hmm. And uh, what's done in the dark, Khadija, will come to the light. And that has been a true postulate that I must admit, I've had to swallow that pill. Everything I've done, I thought I was getting away with. Shit popped right back up in me. Right back in my face. I've had to deal with it. Now the thing is, was I going to fight or flight? Was I going to stand in it? Knowing that this is the truth? Or am I going to run from it? And for a long time, I ran from it. Because it didn't feel good. It felt so uncomfortable. Even to think of some of the stuff that you've done, you're like, oh, I can't believe I've done that. Oh, my God. But you have to stand in it. Kind of like what um, white folk don't want to do when it comes to talking about race. Right? They can't do it. It's too much. Oh, it's too much. It's too much. It's like somebody keep ripping the scab off of your sore, you know, and you got to deal with it again and again. And because it's so brutal and it's so heinous and it's so horrible, they can't face it. So they rather really come up with taking race out of class, burning books, doing all kinds of stuff. But I'm here to tell you, <laughs> truth. Pressed to the earth will rise. It will rise. And there is no way in the world you can suppress the time that it is according to the universe. You just can't suppress it no more. And unfortunately, your day of reckoning is here. You have been the Khalifa on the planet. And for those of y'all who don't know what that means, it means the, the leader. The, the person that's in charge. God granted America that. Over all the nations. And look what she did. She mistreated a lot of people. And kidnapped the very 
the very thought that I'm over here talking to y'all is a crime in itself. Right? Because it wasn't supposed to be this way. However, it wouldn't have been this way unless the universe allowed it. Some wicked dealings allowed it. However, everything must change. Uh, and whether you like it or not, you're about to get busted. You understand what I'm saying? And you about to be have to swallow some truth that you just can't. Oh God, your ego, your mind, and your heart is hard for you to accept. You're going to have to accept that you killed Muammar Gaddafi because he wanted to have the dinar. He wanted all the African countries who got all the wealth. Who is who are self? It's only countries that are self-sustaining. It's heaven. It's the motherland. Europe and all that is barren. It can't produce nothing. There's no life in it. So we've been forced to live in this barren um, place that don't have no love for us and have to navigate through this craziness. Being alone sometimes on the world scale. Like, we don't have nobody that got our back, right? Muammar Gaddafi wanted to do something in so many ways, and I don't want to get into it now because I'm, I'm not here to talk about him. What I am here to talk about is how everything must change and how BRICS is coming together to challenge the U.S. dollar. Because, see, they don't want to be bothered. They don't already said they want to figure out a way to get America. America, that's why she stockpiles her weapons. Because she about to go crazy. Um, Because nobody likes our program no more. You know we ain't never liked it. And we couldn't even come together as United States as we said we was on paper. Everything about us has been hypocritical. And now, the chicken's gonna come home to roost. Okay? This truth is pressed to the earth. And now it's starting to rise, and it's gonna rise, and it's gonna leave us out, and it's gonna start with the damn downfall of the U.S. dollar. All of y'all talk thinking you rich, running after that bag, betraying your brother and sister, uh, raping your mother, killing anybody for the bag, you going to see now that that bag is worthless, a worthless piece of paper that the puppet master got you to put value on it. See, and if you was a man or a woman, you would have realized that you were self-sufficient and you would have found a way to bargain and, and with your brother and your sister without and stay in the system that you were without dealing with this dollar. Oh, I know y'all say I'm talking crazy. Okay. Well, I want you to hear this article. Okay? Since I'm crazy. <laughs> How BRICS is coming together to challenge the U.S. dollar. Meanwhile, the downfall for U.S. dollar remains work in progress. The U.S. dollar is continuously facing backlash. Now Russia thinks that BRICS should do more. It has floated the idea of common currency. The first indication came in January when Russian foreign minister had issued a statement in which he says, serious self-respecting countries are well aware of what's at stake and want to create their own mechanism to ensure sustainable development. It is in this direction that have been voiced recently about the need to think about creating our own currencies within the framework of BRICS. Uh -uh. This idea is now gathering steam. Reports are saying that they are working on a proposal which is likely to be presented at August. 
when the BRICS summit will be held in South Africa. BRICS is an acronym that stands for an association of five major emerging national economies. Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. The term BRIC was initially coined in 2001 by Jim O'Neill, an economist at Goldman Sachs, to refer to the four countries of Brazil, Russia, India, and China at that time, which were expected to become dominant suppliers of manufactured goods, services, and raw materials by the mid-21st century. So see, they knew this. While y'all own that other stuff that don't mean nothing, don't matter nothing, this is what you better know. You're about to have the rug pulled from up under your feet. What you going to do, black man and black woman? Huh? What you going to do? What are we going to do? In 2010, South Africa was included in the group. And the acronym was changed to BRICS. The five countries are all members of the G20. And together... They represent about 42% of the world's population, 23% of global GDP, and 17% of the world trade. BRIC, the BRICS countries cooperate in various areas such as trade, investment, finance, and technology, and they hold annual summits to discuss issues of mutual interest. Mm -mm -mm. Did y'all hear that? Mm -mm 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 -mm. The BRICS countries have been exploring ways to challenge the dominance of the U.S. dollar in international trade and finance. One of the ways they are doing this is by increasing the use of of their own currencies in trade with each other. In 2014, the BRICS countries established the New Development Bank, D NDB, which is aimed at providing an alternative source of funding for infrastructure projects in developing countries. The bank is capitalized with $100 billion. With each of the five member countries contributing an equal share of about $20 billion. In addition, the BRICS countries have been pushing for reforms to the International Monetary Fund, it's called the IMF, and the World Bank to give emerging economies greater representation and voting power. They have also been calling for the creation of a new international reserve currency that would be less dependent on the U.S. dollar. Mm -hmm. Well, you might ask, why the need to create a new currency? Well, Russia has been pushing the idea to create common courtesy among BRICS members since last year. Russian President backs the idea. Last year, he said the matter, um, the matter of creating the international reserve currency based on the basket of currencies of our countries is under review. Russia has its own reasons to push for this. It is under Western sanctions. Its access to global banking system has been limited. It also cannot use the U.S. dollar freely, so it's definitely pushing for a new global reserve currency, and the other members of the BRICS also seem open to the idea as they too wanted to challenge the dollar's homogeny. You know what that means? Okay. Wow, the dominance. The only thing, homogeny. A Russian lawmaker, Alexander Babakov, the deputy chairman of Russia State Duma, which is the lower house of Russian 
Parliament share the way forward. Babakov, in his statement, highlighted the fact that India and Russia, currently one of the largest emerging economies in the world, would both benefit from the creation of a common currency, common currency that could be used for payments, calling it the most visible route to take this time. New Delhi, Moscow should establish a new economic alliance. <laughs> wow. With a new shared currency, which could be a digital ruble or Indian rupee. Babakov said. He further noted that China will also play a key role in the development of the common currency as it adds 1.4 billion more participants to the system. Oh y'all, what y'all think about this? This is this this is um it's not cool. The Russian lawmaker further stated that the transition to settlements in national currency is the first step. The next one is to provide circulation of digital or any other form of fundamentally new currency in the nearest future. Some of this is already happening. For example, the settlement of trade in national currency. India already has an agreement with Russia. It's called the rupee-ruble mechanism where India pays for Russian goods in rupees and Russia earns ruble. They do this with the help of a special Vostro account. And this has led to the boost of bilateral trade. Now, according to the statistics, in 2022, Russia's trade, India's trade with Russia touched the record, which was valued at $30 billion. This is... This, this is believed to be an all-time high. Of course, the surge was fueled by um, oil uh, purchases. But the Russia has more expectations from India. It is banking. Mm, it, it, it is banking. Mm, mm. I'm sorry, y'all, I, I, I sneezed. It is banking on India for more support. Why the support? In fact, Russia President Vladimir Putin has unveiled this view in foreign policy. The published new guidelines in Moscow, a handbook for Russian diplomats, say Russia will continue to build a particularly privileged strategic partnership with the Republic of India with a view to enhance and expand the cooperation in areas that's mutually beneficial. Wow. Russia still has hope from China. The plan that BRICS currently cannot materialize without the help from India or China. Russia needs support from both of them, and it's not going to be easy. Even former Goldman and Sachs chief economist uh, Jim O'Neill, who coined the acronym BRIC, has called for the BRICS bloc to expand the challenge of for dominance of the U.S. dollar as a way to combat the destabilizing effect that the dollar dominance has had on their monetary policy. He wrote in an article published in the uh, Global Journey, the Global Policy, I'm sorry, the U.S. dollar plays too dominant a role in global finance. Whenever the Federal Reserve Board has embarked on a period of tightening or conversely easing, the consequences for the value of the dollar and the knock-on effects have been dramatic and will continue to be. O'Neill sees the dollar dominance as a burden for countries with dollar denominated debt as their monetary policy is destabilized by exchange 
rate fluctuations. So the conclusion, I know this was kind of long, but the Russian, the conclusion is the strength of the Russian ruble following the harsh sanctions by the U.S. and other European countries show that there is a high level of opposition to the homogeny of the U.S. dollar and that BRIC countries see this as an opportunity to capitalize on the growing level of discontent towards the United States. Now, y'all can take it or leave it alone. I did not make this up. This is why Muammar Gaddafi is dead. This, I mean, it, but it, it, TikTok, it don't stop. So America and Hillary Clinton and all them thought that they was going to stop this dream dying or enable this dream to die when they killed him. But knowing that your other enemies were this land low, and at first you had five countries, you didn't think it was a problem, and you, bam, you looked at them over your, you didn't even look at them over your shoulder. Now you got 19 countries that have joined BRIC. And they want to get rid of our asses. They don't want to be Fucking with America. Let me make sure I say that plain and clear. Okay? Then what's going to happen? How you going to keep killing your brother, your fellow brother and sister, over a worthless piece of paper that don't matter, that don't have no value nowhere but here? If it, and it really don't have nothing there, here. This is what we on the road to, y'all. And like I said, I want to know what y'all think about it. Because it's coming. It's coming. So you can keep your little dollars and think you all that. And, 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 and that you got the bag. But I'm here to tell you, the bag is about to diminish big time. And, and, and this article was published by... Um, Manahil Mukata. Yeah, uh, anyway, this is uh, Africa, the motherland, with all the resources. You know, I just wish we could watch China and watch them all and have the heart to to rebuild Africa. But hey, that's just me. Restful thinking. Y'all know what it is. I want to know what y'all think about this. Is it in... I mean, what in the heck do y'all think about this? Bricks. They coming together to challenge the U.S. dollar. All right. I'm out of here. You like what you hear? Please like the video. Please share the video. And, um... I'm going to see you next time in this crazy house.